Hello everybody, I want to show how to make one of these. I've uh, been thinking about one, making one of these for a while. I think it was like Naswick had came up where he says how he marked his blank keys. Uh, the video, I could never really make out what he was using. But uh, for a while I've been working with uh, capillary tubes. And I figured why not try and give it a shot and see what happens. We'll go with chamber one, oh, actually, uh, just started marking that, it says chamber one, and we'll go one, and we'll do, we'll do five, yeah, that's five, and there's five, chambers are marked, clear, plain as day, and uh, even when it comes to like even the next chamber, like we'll just do number chamber two, just just to do it. All right, chamber two, one, two, and five. All right, it beats using uh, Dremel bits because I pretty much wallowed at a perfectly good core just for this purpose. And Sharpies, yeah, they don't really work too well either. And so that's why I used to use the bit and pretty much well it out of core trying to mark key, blank keys. Well, after thinking about it for a while, like, man, I, I could probably do the same thing. This is like 301 stainless steel capillary tube, three millimeter outside, two millimeter uh, inner diameter. And we're going to use this same piece. Let me take this here. Actually, is it loose? Yeah, it's loose enough. All right, awesome. We're going to take that piece right there. I'm going to kind of, I guess, uh, bevel countersinking into that a little bit. You have your choices of the, of that. You could use a rat tail file, but there's a good chance you're going to break off that tip. So I'd be very careful on that. Uh, this case. We are going to use this drill bit. Uh, let's see, this is a 2.2 millimeter. Put a little bit of a, I'm using actually tap, tap magic. Uh, use it as kind of like cutting oil. Yeah, I use it also when I thread pieces, uh, you know, thread my pens and caps and stuff like that. Uh, this would be a good time to turn down the volume because we're about to start up the Dremel. that I'll show you what we got going on right here oh yeah it's cleaning out that hole quite nicely here so you can see it and so now what I am going to do is either I could go ahead and leave that as is or I could take a, a flex set of one of these files like the nail files that are flat or even kind of rounded like this and uh, dropping stuff but all right you uh, know basically to thin out the wall so it has more of a lip and I just noticed that that end needs to be ground down so uh, that's kind of I dropped the ball on that as far as a uh, preparation for it so hold on watch yours just a little bit in the hole. Alright. Now at this point you want to take that out. You see like how that side right there is cut. We're about to do the same on this side. And to do that we're going to use this wheel something similar whatever you have available to you that you can actually use in your rotary tool 
tighten that down. And put this here. Oh, a little thunder. All right. a little bit of a sight here to see what's going on and like I said what I'm gonna do is make some notches in the wall of this um, this tubing tubing watch your ears again on it, get your rat tail file here, kind of clean it up a little bit on the inside, then you grab your key, so we've got one, two, and five, so now we'll do three and four with this new piece, all right, there's three, Four, and we'll go ahead and do six. All right, there you go. Perfectly marked blank key. Just a Dremel tool, some vice grips, some uh, three millimeter out of diameter, two millimeter inner diameter, a few little uh, blades and a couple of files and you can save yourself probably some headache from not wallowing out perfectly good plugs and fighting sharpies in tight places uh hope this helps everybody out and uh like I said, it's a quick fix to be able to actually mark the chambers of your blank keys uh, wish everybody the best. Keep it safe. Keep it legal. Take care.